Hi, this is Paul Friedman, founder of the Marriage Foundation, and I've been doing this since 2001. I used to be a divorce mediator. I've seen it all, and I've met with so many people, and at the Marriage Foundation, we have saved so many thousands of marriages because I approach this from a scientific rather than a Western psychological point of view. When I say this, I mean marriage. Your topic is an interesting one, how to deal with a doubting wife. I'm going to start off by explaining to you very simply that human beings have two natures. We are spiritual beings, meaning we're a soul who has a body and a mind. And then we have our human nature, which is interfered with by the body and the mind. You know, a great example is when we are stimulated towards sex. That's the body calling to you, unless you have so much love in your heart and you want to express it, which most of us are not at that point. It's kind of a even Stephen mingling. Now, this topic of how to deal with a doubting wife is pinpointing human nature within your wife and you. But let's talk about your wife. Human nature means that we're relying primarily on our mind, and our mind is functioning primarily as a way of pointing out the difference between opportunity and problems, threats, because it's getting most of its direction from the body. Physiologically, we know from school that the drive to survive is what's happening in this world. It's self-preservation from beginning to end, but not for us as souls. And so what happened when you got married, you got married to your soulmate, you felt this love that you'd never felt for anyone else before. Then your mind calculated, yeah, I could live with this idiosyncrasy and that issue, blah, blah, blah. But it's mostly your heart. You fell in love. And you got married because you wanted to be happy. And you knew intuitively, that's the heart again, that being with your soulmate till the end of your days would bring you plenty of happiness, intuitively. The problem is that the mind does not know how to be married. We're not taught in this world how to be married. Sure, there's a lot of guidance from churches, there's a lot of guidance from psychologists, but most of it is wrong because they haven't taken it all into consideration. I never would have either, except I was put on the spot by clients who wanted a divorce. They wanted me to help them save their marriage. In those days, 2001, everyone thought that it's all about communication, and there is a little bit of communication involved, but it's mostly how do we reconnect continuously, constantly, how do we connect at that place where it's all happening? We call it love, right? Where do we have that connection? How do we, how do we cultivate the love and devotion that is a requisite for marriage, for a happy marriage? So one way we don't do it is by noticing our wife's flaws. Her doubting is a flaw. It's not a major flaw. It's not like she's cheating on you, but it's a flaw. So how you handle it, how you deal with it, is you don't deal with her. You deal with yourself, and you just laugh it off, but not out loud, because it'll seem condescending to her. But inside and you go she's got so many amazing qualities what do i care if she's doubting and what i'm going to do this is after you subscribe to the channel go ahead hit the subscribe and the like button is you're going to just say no big deal and you're going to start striving for a more improved marriage is that going to solve it no but it's going to help you transcend these little idiosyncrasies that she has. Believe me, she has to do the same with you. 
So that's how you deal with it. All right, I'm Paul Friedman, founder of the Marriage Foundation. Go to our website. I'm going to leave a link. It's going to go to our reviews for the course. I don't think you need the course, but look around, see what we have. I think we can really help you with your marriage too. God bless you and take care. Thank you.